Hi, Snail Movie here. Today I'll show you a collection of short films. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. It contains two comedies, a science fiction drama, a horror movie, and a peculiar Japanese mind-bending film. Do you envy this slender figure with a paper-thin frame? The girl still feels inadequate and wraps bandages tightly around her waist every day, striving for a more perfect waistline to become even thinner. After every dinner, she diligently digs her fingers into her throat, purging all the food she consumed. The boy invites her for a swim in the evening. The girl agrees, but in the changing room, she becomes self-conscious of her supposedly bulky waist. Alone in the bathroom, she forcefully tears at the excess flesh on her waist until blood spills onto the floor, then wraps it up with bandages. They arrive at the swimming pool together, and without a word, the boy undresses and plunges into the water. However, the girl afraid that the boy will notice the bandages around her waist, hesitates to join him in the pool. Ignoring her concerns, the boy forcefully pulls her into the water. As they share a kiss, a mysterious figure appears beneath the surface. The girl quickly climbs out of the pool and frantically runs away. Pursued relentlessly by the imaginary presence, she reaches an empty playground, where she desperately tears at her own abdomen, ripping a gaping hole. But there was no figure to begin with. Due to extreme weight loss, both physically and mentally, the girl's perception has been distorted, leading to hallucinations. A man absent-mindedly uses an earpick to clean his ear, inadvertently pushing it in too deep. Panic sets in as he tries to remove the earpick, gently gripping the handle. Ouch! It hurts, and he realizes he can't forcefully yank it out. He considers calling an ambulance but as he reaches for his phone, it brushes against the earpick, causing excruciating pain. The man remembers an important task ahead, spotting the woman in the opposite building, and decides to hang up the phone. He leans closer to the sniper scope. The earpick burrows in deeper with each movement, making it impossible to aim properly. Suddenly, a knocking sound interrupts him. He hastily pulls the curtains shut, and the door swings open. The man quickly turns to the side, only to find his girlfriend standing there. They had plans for a date that evening, but to maintain appearances, he dismisses her. She punches him in the head. As he looks up, he notices that the earpick has slightly moved outward. Could it be because of that punch? In a desperate attempt, he chases after his girlfriend, begging her to hit him once more. She thinks he's crazy and quickly runs away. He came up with a bold plan to push it through and retrieve it from the other side. With gentle nudges, the earpick gradually delved deeper, nearly disappearing completely inside his ear. As he reached for the other side of his ear, he found nothing. Looking into the mirror, he saw the earpick had vanished, now residing entirely within his head. He bounced and jumped, attempting to shake it loose, but to no avail. Turning his attention to the sniper scope by the window, he spotted that woman applying makeup, seemingly preparing to leave. Time was of the essence to accomplish. The man realized that despite the earpick lodged in his head, he felt no discomfort. Perhaps it was best to leave it be. Bringing his glasses close to the scope, he gradually aimed the barrel towards the woman. Just as he was about to pull the trigger, the woman suddenly turned around, catching a glimpse of him, with a faint smile directed his way. The man jolted in fear and swiftly turned away. Through the mirror on the door, he discovered the earpick slowly sliding out from his own nostril. The woman continued to smile in his direction. Could her smile possess such enchanting power? Power? He's the laziest dude on earth. He never open his eyes while brushing his teeth. And even putting on pants requires a butt-assisted maneuver. Instead of walking up the stairs, he just slides down. He even waits for his neighbor to open the door. On his way to work, he rolls if it's rollable, slides if it's slidable. Once he rolls into the subway, he plops down and dozes off until his stop, where he rolls out like a champion. And when sliding gets tiresome, he takes a swig from a water bottle. After 10 days of epic sliding, he finally reaches his workplace. After swiping his card, he slides across the office floor, making a grand entrance at the water cooler. He orders a cup of coffee and gracefully glides into his seat. Despite his laziness, this dude rakes in cash faster than you can say supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. He taps a few keys, and bam, he's got a six-figure bank balance. Even his bathroom breaks are legendary. At the end of the day, he slides his way to the bar, wiggling on the floor like a funky penguin. He effortlessly captures the hearts of all the ladies around. Are you green with envy for this slippery sliding winner's life? A woman delves to attain beauty, submerging herself entirely in a mysterious cream that seeps into every pore. Despite her face turning an alarming shade of crimson, after the immersion, an eerie sense of clarity washes over her. A sinister satisfaction etched onto her visage. The transformation was astonishing. Not only did her teeth become pearly white, but even her cross eye vanished, 
Prior to this, her unattractive appearance had made her invisible to everyone. A dissonant figure amidst her resplendent colleagues, her own husband treats her like a phantom, but at a fateful gathering, she stumbles upon the secret behind their allure, a cream unlike any other. She recklessly smears it on her skin, only to awaken a hideous reaction, a proliferation of crimson welts. Coincidentally, the television was airing an advertisement for the cream, explaining that the appearance of redness was a normal occurrence. The woman promptly ordered a whole crate of the cream for the next day. Her once delicate features contort, grotesque and monstrous. However, her oblivious husband remains blind to her ghastly transformation, unrelenting in her pursuit of fleeting beauty. She hoards countless jars of the cream in the basement, unaware that her obsession has turned them into a malevolent elixir. Deep within the basement, a woman discovers a pale figure mirroring her every move. Their hands intertwine, fingers slowly interlocking, their lips meeting in a passionate kiss. Emerging from the depths, the woman appears hollow, as if she has lost her soul. Finally, her unsettling transformation catches her husband's attention. He reaches out, deceiving her with empty words of being the most beautiful woman in the world. She know that he is only concerned about her extravagant spending. In an instant, the woman grabs a knife and successfully sends her husband away. Consumed by her desperate quest for beauty, the woman descends into madness. She enters the bathroom, submerging herself in a bathtub overflowing with creamy indulgence. The cream becomes one with her, merging their essences completely. Emerging from the soak, the woman experiences an unparalleled sense of liberation, as if freedom itself has been reclaimed. Standing before the mirror, she admires her porcelain-like skin, a satisfied smile gracing her lips. As the cream gradually peels away, her confidence is restored. She styles her hair, adorns her nails with a vibrant shade of pink, and applies a stroke of lipstick to her pout. In this transformative process, the woman metamorphoses into a sensually captivating temptress. But let's ponder the question, is this external beauty truly what people aspire to? <laughs> When a woman is unhappy, her face starts melting like ice cream, then her legs begin to dissolve too, and she desperately drags herself away. But next moment, her legs turn into a gooey mess and yank her right down. She transforms into a colossal meatball, expanding like there's no tomorrow, and hilariously bursts through the door, onto the bustling street. People's jaws drop as they witness the sight of a walking meatball, causing them to panic and flee for their lives like they're in a comedy marathon. Amidst the chaos, a brave and witty individual steps forward, trying to reason with the lady, but she dismisses his advice faster than a bad punchline. The meatball keeps rolling, growing bigger and goofier with each passing second. Just when things couldn't get any wackier, a school bus slams on its brakes, triggering a ridiculous chain reaction of rear-end collisions. The passengers frantically attempt to escape, only to find themselves trapped inside. Suddenly, our hero steps up to the front of the bus, cool as a cucumber, and plunges his hands into the concrete pavement. With a mighty heave-ho, he lifts a whopping 800 pounds of road surface. Just as the meatball is about to swallow the manhole, it miraculously opens its mouth and says, I want to go home.